Hey everybody, the Bong is here ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Sly Cooper Thieves in Time for the PlayStation 3. Now this game was chosen in the Christmas Special 2022. In fact, it was the very first game out of that list that was chosen. See, as how I did the other three games on PS2, it was a matter of time. And plenty of requests over the years. That eventually I gotta do this one. And let me tell you, like it was a pain in the ass to look for this game. Did find it at a local game store, but I paid over 60 bucks. Which, you know, feels kinda steep. But I knew I had to let's play this game eventually, so I figured it was either that, or get it on Amazon and likely pay more. So we're gonna do it now. I'm not sure we'll get the full story. Yeah, there are bottles, treasure saves, mass, and trophies. I'm not gonna 100% the whole game, because that would take a hell of a lot of time throughout this playthrough. And for some reason, they went back to the bottle system from 2. I don't know why. I should probably just start at the beginning. The name's Sly. Sly Cooper. And I'm a thief. From a long line of thieves. In fact, thieving is the family business, and business was good. Although, until recently, I considered myself retired. Having hung up my mask and cane, I was enjoying life on the other side of the law. In the company of a certain lovely Interpol agent named Carmelita Fox. She and I had a history, which generally involved her trying to lock me up. So, I should mention our current situation was only possible because she thought I had amnesia. I didn't. It was great to finally enjoy each other's company without a shock pistol being involved, and we quickly put the past behind us. But as time went on, the old itch came back, and I knew I needed to pull a heist. I should also mention that as a master thief, I only steal from other thieves. So it took me a while, but I finally found what I was looking for. My target was an upstart art mogul, a real hotshot collector. He seemed respectable, had even opened a new museum. But I could smell a rat. Reliable sources told me he was dealing in black market antiques worth millions. So I felt he should share the wealth. I was working on a plan when one night, as if on cue, Bentley showed up. Bentley was the brains of our operation, the mastermind. We grew up in the same orphanage where we bonded over stealing cookies, our very and first crayons. Time, and we've been best friends and partners ever since. We hadn't seen each other for a while, but I knew immediately that something was up. Bentley had been enjoying his time off, too, building a new lab from scratch with his girlfriend and fellow tech whiz, Penelope. She had joined the team on our last caper, and the two of them had really hit it off. Apparently, they just finished work on a top-secret project when Penelope had simply vanished. Bentley was worried sick. He searched frantically, but found nothing. Then, he noticed something that completely stunned him. In his spare time, Bentley had been researching the Thievius Raccoonus, the Master Thieves Handbook passed down through the Cooper family for generations. Its pages overflowing with the exploits and secret techniques of my esteemed ancestors. Only now, those pages weren't so full. In fact, they were disappearing right before Bentley's eyes. Realizing there was no time to waste, he gathered his gear and raced off to Paris. Not only did my girlfriend leave me, but pages in a book did too. This guy can't catch a break. The first thing Bentley did was track down Murray, the third in our trio. Murray was our enforcer, the muscle. And the guy who'd eaten all the cookies we stole back in our orphanage days. Through the years, the three of us had become an unbeatable team. And we were more like a family now than a gang. Murray had been living his dream on the pro driving circuit, where his van had become famous, or rather, infamous, for all the crashes he'd caused. 
Eventually, he was unable to find a sponsor due to his high insurance premiums, and he moved into Demolition Derby, where he remained undefeated. When Bentley showed up, however, Murray dropped everything to help out. Especially when Bentley explained that his van was the key to the whole plan. With Carmelita distracted by a new assignment, I took the opportunity to slip away and met up with the guys at our old Paris hideout. Bentley launched into one of his elaborate presentations, and I saw the whole scary picture. Someone or something was literally erasing Cooper history. Then, to our amazement, Bentley revealed that he already had the solution, time travel. It turns out his top secret project was constructing a time machine. And now he modified the design to fit into Murray's van. We were going to travel back in time, stop those responsible, and fix the damage they'd done. Bentley explained the only catch was that in order to travel to a particular time, the machine required an object from that era. We knew from the changes to the Thievius Raccoonus that our first stop was feudal Japan. So here we were, about to steal a priceless 17th century samurai dagger from the same museum I'd been casing. Funny how things work out sometimes. Almost as if it's a video game. Man, it's been a long time since I let's play the third game. At least I've been living in this current apartment when I did it, so it wasn't that long. But still quite a few years. Okay, you both remember the plan, right? Of course! My mind is like a steel cap! Uh, that's trap, big guy. And everybody relax. We've been over it a million times. What could possibly go wrong? Say those last words. Look. We're only gonna get one shot at this, so we can't mess up! Alright, no messing up allowed. Now stop worrying. This is gonna be a piece of cake. I'll see you both inside. Now let's get going. Bentley should have interrupted saying like, oh, what could possibly go wrong while well, I'm in a wheelchair? Since the second game? <laughs> Sly Cooper the Thief. Icon to the left indicates the game is saving. Yeah, there's auto saves in this. I gotta get reacclimated with the controls. Move around the stick. Attack with square. Uh oh. So uh, don't get caught. I suppose I don't have to mention you can jump using the X button. Um. Uh, you did it anyway, but whatever. Right. Just another one of my many talents. I might as well try to grab as much money as I can, because you will need it for upgrades. You know, for certain gadgets and stuff that can help you out. Money is not very easy to get. Well I guess it's easier than in other games to get a lot. Excellent. It's perfect for peeking around corners. Press the circle button while jumping to interact with blue sparkling objects. I remember. That's how I pull off some of my best moves. Yeah, you'll be using that a lot. Trust me on that one. Alright, where are we going? As long as I stay out of the searchlight, it should be fine. Oh, I gotta go up there. Time. You don't need any heroes. I think I can handle that. Handle getting busted? Hell no. Hey Bentley, was truck surfing part of Murray's entrance strategy? Of course not. Murray's approach route is through the back alleys. Why do you ask? Uh, no reason. Anyway, it looks like he's in position now. Make sure you stay on these cables, 
like. You can't risk going down to street level right now. Not a problem, Bentley. A good thief prefers to stay above the action anyway. I mean, that's where I get to use a lot of my aerial attacks. Okay, you gotta press circle to climb as well, or start climbing. Select button to display the map. Okay, so I gotta go over to where the blue X is and avoid the red circles. Okay, you can take a look at the status as well. Turns out there's like two of these masks. If it's anything like the old games, you can revisit old episodes. If you ever care to collect everything. That's entirely up to you. But they don't show up on a mini-map or anything, just to forewarn ya. You'll have to find that crap yourself. Sorry. I'll be a ghost, I promise. It sure feels good to be back in business. Uh, up here, maybe? Yes, that is where we will go. Be very, very quiet. This way. All right, let me go into the options. I see the voices are kind of low. Maybe I'll do it like this. Just like a couple notches will do. Yeah, it turns out this game is cross-play with the Vita as well. I mean, who has a Vita? Wasn't that like the running joke of like... 2010s. People still make that joke now. Because, like, Persona 4 games exist. They were on the Vita. That's probably the only reason they got it. <laughs> Turn now. Yes, I'm a little out of practice. You say something, Sly? Uh, no. All good here, Bentley. Okay. It looks like you're going to have to find another way up. Use that ledge to move around to the front of the museum and stay out of that security light. I think I can handle that. Yeah, I know how searchlights work. I can't believe the security of this place. This better be worth it. Hmm. Ah! Oh. I don't know if there's a dedicated button for sneaking, is there? Let me check the controls. Oh! It doesn't give you the actual controls. So that was an, a lie. Oh, I guess you gotta go to help? Okay, there you go. Move the stick, the jumping, the interacting. Hold R1 to sprint. Okay, Monocucom, that's R3. And compass is L3. Okay, it only displays the current stuff. Ha <laughs> jeez. That's worth a hundred coins. I can attack hit the guard as well. Or I can just ignore it and move on. You know, as a thief normally would. 
I'm a thief, not a fighter. Although I can fight. I'm not completely useless. I take it your assignments are clear. There are some important tips coming. This is what we have been working for. So I didn't hear that. Up here? Excellent. Maybe I can get in through there. I can. But it looks like there's something over here. Oh! It's one of those masks. Well, since I'm already in the area, I might as well get it. Collect secret slime masks throughout the game to earn special unlockable items. Would you like to go to the unlockables menu? Well, I guess I will now. We're not gonna tell you what you unlock, though. You need to get four more. Sorry. So that was pointless. Good to know the uh, chopper can't see floating coins on the floor. Like, oh, it wasn't there before. What's going on? Why is this here? It sure looks like somebody spent a fortune on this place. I wonder what kind of surprises they have inside. I mean, if you have a museum, you'll likely spend a fortune already. Careful now! That's the skyline we want, but it's locked! My instruments are showing that guard has a key. To move slowly until you're right behind him. When you're close enough, press the circle button to pick his pocket. You might have to... Yeah, I'm not listening to you, Bentley. I can't hear you over me Four pressing circle. Sneak up behind an enemy and press the trial button to juggle him. Then press the great fly. Now use the key to unlock the skylight. Okay. I did it. Oh no, lasers. Okay, Bentley, I'm in place. Let me know when you shut down the security system. Patience, Sly. You can't rush greatness, and I'm about to code a hacking masterpiece. Bentley the Brains. Hacker man. His legs don't work. The last time I was in these sewers, I was just a teenager. Reach the control room. Man, this place is... My mom should make short work of that grate. I just need to press the triangle. Huh. Well, that was a blast. <laughs> Get it? Blast. Bombs. Can't get to the other side of that. So it looks like I'm hitching a ride. Good thing I can hover. All I have to do is just hold X in the air. Okay, I was just thinking if there was a way to aim that. Oh, too far. Yeah, I was just... Just testing out the bombs. See if there was a better way to just That's chuck them. Jump. I better use the hover pack here. If I jump, then press and hold the X. Thank you, technology! <laughs> I like how I can just interrupt the speech just by actually doing the thing. I'm supposed to freaking do. Right, that platform is blocked. I'll have to throw a bomb to clear it off. Oh, you have to hit if L1 I first. The L1 button, I can bring up my range fight. Then I can adjust. That's a direct hit. Excellent. Avoid if the piss. I that filthy water, I'm buying a new shell. Ooh, what's over here? Oh, that's the other mask. 58 more to go if you care to get them all. Why didn't I wear my rubber gloves? I don't know, why didn't you? You're always telling the others to be prepared. And yet you couldn't even bother to pack some gloves? Wait. 
He's wearing gloves now! What difference do we make of our rubber? Why such a whiny wimp over it? Maybe I'll just blow it up! That was close. Talk about your close shaves. How's that security system coming, Bentley? Uh, great, perfect. I'll be done in a jiffy. Uh -huh. All right, where are we going? Just over there. Stay away from the green squares. Next time, I'm giving Sly the sewer job. Oh, hello. Maybe I'll check the bomb right here. Uh-oh. What was that? I don't know. I'm an idiot. Uh-oh. Wait, how are you not seeing me? Huh? Wow, these guys are idiots. How did they not notice a bomb there? Keep an eye out for areas that can only be accessed with costumes. Yep, that will be a thing later on. Cleansing pack. Hello, old friend. We have to reach the main docking gate before the security code flushes us from the system. The lap stick should navigate the ship. Alright, we're in twin stick shooter mode. Destroy the firewall. Performing well, moving while firing is key to cracking this system. I need to use the data key on that lock to defeat the firewall. Okay, just get rid of these. Grab that. Right, there's gotta be a lock for this around here. And now you should get past the lasers. I always found these this, these segments quite fun. Activate the I Panzer Code. I can engage my Panzer Code. Oh, yeah. Destroy the barriers. The big guns, baby. These gigabob shells will crush those firewalls. There we go. Watch out for those tanks. Security drones. I can either dodge them or blast. Get the blasting. I need to use my shell code to get the data key. I better switch back. Oh, I have to go back to being green. Like so. Seems you cannot pick up keys when you're in Panzer code for some reason. See ya. I don't know, the right stick on this PS3 controller feels a little weird for steady aiming. But I'll, I'll get used to it over time. Don't you worry. And that's the way the code base crumbles. Okay, Murray, you're up. The Murray is always on, Bentley. Murray the Brawn. Okay, Murray. We need to get you back in fighting shape. Why don't you warm up with a few basic attacks? Press the square button to punch. Oh, yeah. The old muscle memory is really kicking in. Oops. Press the old triangle button to charge up and release it for a wicked spinning attack. Yes! Nobody can withstand a big tornado! To perform a thunderflop, jump, then press the triangle button while in the air. Oh, thunderflop, how I miss you! Yep, you can even do it during a double jump, too.
Alright, keep moving. You can pick up trash, too. Nice. Oh! I missed. Now, I'm pretty much, like, able to brute force my way through foes. Not so much for dodging. Oh, I gotta watch my health over there on the, on the left side. Luckily, sometimes these enemies drop health, which is those, uh, red plus signs. Because it adds to your health. Hmm, what do I do now? You make me angry. You don't like it when I'm angry. I call that the major league combo. Plus it's three strikes and you're out. I almost feel sorry. Oh, that was easy. They only had two. The security system is down. You're all clear. Great. I'm going in. What the? You didn't really think you were gonna get away with it, did you, Ringtail? Maybe. I usually do. <laughs> Ex-girlfriend. Hey, Carmelita. Funny meeting you here. Sly Cooper, you no good lying thief. I'm locking you up for good. Sorry, gotta take a rain check. I'll call you. Cooper! Good evening, this is Sly Cooper. I'd like to request a ride. You, Sly. Now quit messing around and get down here. We're in the van and ready to roll. Au revoir. Let's hit it. Buckle up, boys. Oh yeah, just like in a demolition derby. Oh, I'm actually moving the stick here. I think I cracked my shell. Watch out for those trees. Oh my god. We have multiple horns. Please tell me we didn't go 88 miles an hour to time travel. Well, what else can I say about Carmelita? As you can see, our relationship is complicated. And I just succeeded in upgrading it to hazardous. I certainly wasn't expecting her to crash the party. She'd been so busy with her latest case, I never thought she'd have her eye on me. In fact, I'd kind of been counting on it. But then, I should have known better than to underestimate Inspector Carmelita Fox. As much as she liked having fun, Carmelita was serious about her police work. And now, I had a lot of explaining to do. But the plan was in motion, and there was no stopping now. 
Even though I was thinking I'd need the time machine just to patch things up with Carmelita. Before the heist, we'd recruited our disco-loving, scuba-diving friend, Dimitri Listo to look after the Thievius Raccoonus. Because it was irreplaceable and the only guide we had, it was far too risky to take the book through time with us. Bentley had even invented a communication device to allow us to contact Dimitri no matter where or when we traveled. It was a perfect situation, since it allowed him to update us on any changes to the book while limiting our exposure to his fashion critiques. Everything was happening so fast. The past few days were just a blur. But as we howled through the time vortex, I realized we were in for a very long trip. Oh, there's some intel on the loading screens. Her full name is Carmelita Montoya Fox, and has Brian multiple voice actors throughout the franchise. Who would have thunk it? Oh, we only got 3% of the mask in the game and 1% of the trophies. If I was 100%ing this, this would have been a much longer playthrough, let me tell ya. We needed to locate Ryuichi Cooper, Master Ninja, and Master Chef. According to the Cooper clan history, Ryuichi Cooper was actually the inventor of sushi. After creating this delectable dish, he opened a sushi restaurant, which, while very prosperous, also provided the perfect cover for a ninja. When we got to Japan, it was obvious something was very wrong. What should have been a peaceful village was more like a heavily patrolled military base. We locate a Ryuichi sushi restaurant only to find it shut down and under guard. Things got worse when Bentley discovered that Ryuichi was locked up in a new high security jail, allegedly for serving bad sushi to the Shogun. It all sounded like a pretty tough piece of fish to swallow. We needed to get to the bottom of the situation. And the first order of business was getting Ryuichi out of prison. Teach him how to actually cook fish instead of serve it raw. Sly Cooper and the gang in, turning Japanese. Thank you, subtitles, for showing me what that was. Thiefnet has new goodies. Do you want to go to Thiefnet? I guess I will. Okay, good thing we picked up a lot of coins. I could use a paraglider. The elbow L dropo combo. <laughs> During combat, quickly press square, then triangle. And sleep ammo. Press and hold L2 to select this ammunition that allows Bentley to shoot sleep darts and throw sleep bombs. Excellent. Okay, so I got a job for Sly. There's also this over here. Okay, that's just new costumes for your characters. I'm guessing this allows you to... Go back to previous areas? Okay, that's all it is. Oh, there's like games here? The arcade's out of order. Murray, what are you doing? Are you, are you giving foreplay to an arcade cabinet? That that's that's disgusting. Have a little bit more dignity, man. I'm gonna play some Pong. Oh, square to hit and triangle to power hit. X does nothing. I remember playing table tennis back in the day when I was in high school. I guess I did that a little bit in college, too. There was like a few of us in my uh, college class in second year that played a lot of ping pong. It was a good time. Oh. 
I quit. This game is broken. And there's your treasure. You can find treasures throughout the worlds as well. Well, I guess you can get, consider them time eras rather than worlds. Well, we'll just see, take a little look at this hub for now, and then we'll probably call it an episode. I remember going for all the bottles in slide 2. It was agony. Especially if they're like in hard to reach areas or areas you might have walked past several times. So uh, have fun with that. Newly purchased items can be used in the gadget grid by holding L2 down. Okay. 1603, eh? I'm holding L2. I guess you Sly doesn't need to do that because he can just use the glider now. I like how the coins actually change the currency of that time. And, uh, location. Uh-oh. Okay, well, he was pretty easy to deal with. Hey, look at that. There's some bottles over there. You found a clue bottle. Collect all 30 clue bottles in an episode to gain access to the episode safe. And yeah, not to mention you have to look for the safe, too. And on top of that, bottles do not show up in the map at all. So, have fun looking everywhere. I'll just grab whatever ones I can see off the top of my head. I'm gonna try to steal from one of them. As long as they don't see me. Good. That still works swimmingly. And again, I don't see why it wouldn't. <laughs> it's not like the move has changed. Oh! I see something over there. I want it. Looks like one of the treasures. Hurry and get the treasure back to the hideout before time runs out or being damaged. Oh, hope you remember where your hideout is. Just follow the light. Got it. A meditation turtle. Well, I guess you can use the treasures as a way to earn extra money. If you find grinding from enemies takes too much time. Or beating up the terrain. So you have plenty of options to earn some extra cash. If you want to do it that way. I guess we can head to our first mission. Yeah, we'll do the first mission and then we'll call it video. I think that sounds like a plan. Loading job. Okay, Sly. We need to break Ryuichi out of jail. I have some ideas, but you know the drill. I need you to do some recon for me. Camera work? Correct mundo, Monami. I need some shots of the prison entrance and the samurai armor those big guards are wearing. You should also grab some shots of Ryuichi's restaurant. We may need those for later. Capiche? Uh, yeah. I got you, pal. But maybe we should stick with English. Sayonara, Cooper-san! I can't believe we made it out of Paris in one piece. You are gonna learn a new language, Sly, and you're gonna like it. Oh, left stick to zoom in. The Borgard armor. Look like real bruisers. And real ugly, too. That was definitely not his best side. 
Wow. Sly, maybe you should be a little bit more considerate of other people's appearance. I mean, you just got out of a relationship, so, uh... At least that boar is probably living his best life. Oh, that treasure's really far away. I guess I can try for it. You better not hit me immediately! I did it! The Ninja Cookbook. Ow! Maybe I should run. Should I run? I think that sounds like a plan. Yoink! A kabuki mask! But that was a stork! How come I didn't steal an infant? Oh! Hit the wrong button. That time I did not hit a button. I'm trying to get over there. What's the best way to do it? Oh. There's something else I could have jumped on. So let's just use the glider and then land on it. Oh, it doesn't work that way. Grab this? Yeah, I think I should have grabbed that. Um. Hi. That's the prison. Where Ryoichi's being held. I really don't like the look of that place. <laughs> Something tells me the inside looks even worse. How will I explain this to Carmelita? Time travel? She'll never believe it. Look, it's not like she believes a word out of your mouth anyway. So this is nothing new. The Dragon Gates. There we go. That's number three. That might be the largest gate I've ever seen. The thief in me just needs to know what's behind it. I don't think the next time I see Carmelita, I better duck first and ask questions later. Yeah, you're better off not asking at all. She's very trigger happy. Ooh, you got some money. Mind if I borrow it? Forever? You don't have anything else to die. Am I close enough? Oh yeah, plenty. The sushi house? Shots of what? Saki? Fuki mask again? Don't you at least have something different? Perfect. That's our intel. Oh, El Jefe. This guy definitely looks out of place. 
I better get a shot of this guy's ugly mug for Bentley. He should be crawling around a tropical jungle somewhere. Why? I'm pretty sure they didn't smoke Cuban cigars. Why? I'm sure I recognize that guy. He's wanted by Interpol. He's a ruthless mercenary general responsible for overthrowing several small countries. So what kind of mess are we in, Bentley? I don't know. But one thing's certain. My hunch was correct. We aren't the only ones with a time machine. That might explain why the Thievus Raccoonus is running out of pages. You can replay any job using the Vans Job Replay computer. No. I don't think you get any- Oh, we do got new ThiefNet stuff. The Cane Swat combo? Quickly press square, then triangle. I can use the Mega Charge attack. Press an old triangle, release it to launch attack. Oh, so I can make the charge attack stronger, eh? An Adrenaline Burst. Okay, uses Gadget Meter. And I don't have enough yet. So it looks like there's another job for Sly. That's Breakout. You certainly go into the loading screen an awful lot. That's a bit frustrating. But I guess it is a, a PS3 game and like the, the first time a Sly game's been on a new console outside of the PS2. So I need to break him out, and I gotta go over there to do it. Alright, so let's stop it here, and in the next episode, we'll uh, go to our next mission. See everyone, thanks for watching.